The first impact that it had was the introduction of great uncertainty because um, nobody really understood what the outcome would be. Nobody knows to this day um, how foreigners are going to be treated um, and uh, what the uh, financial regulations really will end up being. But the expectation is that, um, that um, Britain will no longer be the, um, the front door to uh, doing business in Europe. And so that has caused companies to announce um, that they're moving operations to other cities in Europe. Uh, and uh, so we know that there's, a, that there's just a, a decline in the need for uh, office space um, in the financial uh, district. How much is that affecting Canary Wharf? That's the key question in the case. Um, uh, can they maintain its vitality? Do they need to reposition it as something that's not only about finance? Um, can they create a sense of it being mixed use that means more residential and other kinds of commercial uh, properties? Um, those are the options that they have going forward. There are certain things that Canary Wharf does have that still can't be replicated in other places in London. Extraordinary infrastructure um, and um, high-tech infrastructure. Extraordinary security um, because it's on this Docklands um, space. Very easy to control who comes in and who comes in and out. Um, so those kind of things make it, um, those are comparative advantages that it has. Uh, it also has a very creative, thoughtful uh, owner and developer um, that um, tries to think a few steps ahead. Um, so by the time Brexit rolled around, you know, they had been thinking about what the consequences could be. They have been excellent at promoting, um, they have been part of a, a really um, successful campaign to promote fintech in London. I mean, London uh, billed itself as a fintech capital. Um, it has huge fintech conferences. There are fintech tours. The Canary Wharf um, developer has kind of, has created fintech spaces, that is spaces for, uh, for, for entrepreneurs, small companies, um, t uh, uh, technological experimentation and innovation. So um, they're trying to use fintech as a way of taking a step forward beyond where they are now. That's my reading of it. And as we go f further into the case, we're going to find out more and give our students more uh, uh, information uh, to um, probe and see whether that can take the place of uh, the, the lost sort of conventional banking jobs that um, are exiting.